As I publish this video, it is already the first day of 2020. And it's also December 30th, 2019. They haven't actually started rigging the fireworks on the London Eye yet. But the reason that I can say that it's 2020 is also the reason why a few years back, Twitter failed for a few hours. See, there are a lot of calendars in the world. Yes, most of us have standardised on the Gregorian calendar, January to December. But there are still some others used for specific things. Uh, in the Islamic calendar, it's the year 1441. In the Hebrew calendar, 5780. And in the ISO week system, defined by the International Standards Organisation and used for finance and business, it is already 2020. And it's handy sometimes, particularly when you're dealing with money, to always have a whole number of weeks in a year. And seven days in a week just doesn't divide into 365 days in a year cleanly, or 366 for a leap year. So back in the 70s, the ISO defined the ISO week system, where the year always starts on a Monday and there are always a whole number of weeks in the year. Most of the time, that's 52 weeks, so 52 times 7, 364 days, but occasionally there's basically a leap week to catch things up. So most of the time, the ISO year number is the same as the regular one we all use. But around New Year, it's not always in perfect sync. Like right now, as I publish this, it is December 30th, 2019, Gregorian calendar, but in the ISO week system, it is year 2020, week one, day one. It's a perfectly valid calendar, but it can be confusing because it's so close to our regular Gregorian calendar, and it doesn't have the concept of months, only weeks. It's only meant to be used for things like bookkeeping and, and paying salary. But back at the end of 2014, Twitter's Android app and website mysteriously failed for a few hours, and the reason was almost certainly someone getting the two calendars mixed up. See, most high-level programming languages have a function for getting the current date and time and formatting it in a particular human-friendly way. So if you want the day, month and year in a human-friendly format, you create a string like that, you run it through a standard function and it swaps out the bits that are flagged by percent signs and you get a sensible result out. But it's easy to get the letters in that string wrong. Percent %m is month as a number, but percent %b is the month written out as a word, so they're not always the letters you'd expect. Plus, most programmers don't have to use that all that often, so we tend to refer to the help files every time to be safe. And if you just search those help files from the top down for year, the first result is percent %g. So you go ahead, not knowing what ISO week means, you use percent %g, and it looks right. And you don't realise until, well, today, that it's using a completely different calendar. And that's almost certainly why, for a few hours back at the end of 2014, at least our 2014, Twitter got the year wrong. They had accidentally taken the day and the month from the Gregorian calendar, but the year from the ISO week system. It's one of those bugs that even with a lot of testing, you might not actually spot until something goes wrong. So if 2019 has been a rough year for you and you want to leave it behind, change calendars for a little while. Welcome to the 20s. Fast Hosts are a British web host who've been in the business for 20 years and host more than a million domains. They're offering viewers from the UK the chance to win a trip to South by Southwest 2020 in Austin, Texas, including flights and accommodation. To enter the draw, you need to answer this techie test question that I've written. This JavaScript code is meant to simulate a coin flip, but it's not working properly. Where's the bug? There's one big error that means it's only returning heads. If you reckon you know, Click the link in the description and you could be off to South by Southwest. All the terms and conditions are over on Fast Host's website. Good luck.